The future is what we make it. It is what young people make it. And we know that what we understand about the world drives who we are, what we do, and how we treat each other every single day. Creating the opportunity for young people to see the world anew through arts-based creative learning is one of the most powerful ways to create short, medium, and long-term change. And so we're building the World Reimagined Learning Programme for schools, teachers, and above all, students across the UK. From Todd Morden in Yorkshire now, the award-winning social entrepreneur, founder of youth leadership charity Reclaim, and the World Reimagined's very own Ruth Igbegbunner. Thanks, Gillian. Hi, everyone. I've had the absolute honour of working with young people across the north of England throughout the whole of my professional career. Seeing what young people can achieve and what they can believe with just the slightest bit of encouragement makes me understand that actually education is the absolute catalyst for any kind of significant social change. The World Reimagine Learning Programme will be a really exciting, engaging and experiential experience for students in a school setting. Using an arts-based learning approach, we intend to build young people's understanding of compassion, their, their courage to face a difficult subject and tackle it courageously, their critical thinking abilities, and also their awareness of history, their place in history, and what this programme means for the future for all of us. The World Reimagined will empower them to make the right decisions to make racial justice a reality. The learning programme is open to all schools and colleges across the whole of the UK and we're hoping that you sign up and join us in our journey. We're offering our schools free resources for lessons in the classroom. For primary schools this means a full exploration of the topic of Mother Africa. For secondary schools, we're creating modules that respond to each of the nine themes along our journey of discovery. Our resources are original. They've been created through dialogue, deep dialogue with educationalists and academics and creatives. We've been talking to top academics such as Kindy Andrews. We've got the cast of Hamilton who've been involved and given their time to support this work. We've worked with incredible writers and playwrights such as Inu Ellums. The work comes together and feels like a really exciting opportunity for pupils. As a teacher, I understand how important it is to feel confident about what you're delivering at the front of the classroom. And because of this, we'll be offering online free resources for our teachers, enabling you to feel that you can navigate some quite difficult lessons and some quite difficult conversations with confidence. We'll be enabling you to be a leader in delivering this work around racial justice and creating safe spaces to have effective conversations with young people around issues such as power and privilege. Our passion with this work is to bring together a learning programme that you can deliver to your pupils that is creative, deep, informed, and something that can be transformational for young people. The first is a free version. These resources will be available for all schools and all colleges across the whole of the UK. And students will work through the different modules and at the end will express themselves creatively through the spoken word, through prose and through poetry. Their work will be uploaded and be shared on our portal and also be available locally, nationally, regionally. Everyone will be able to see the work that your pupils have put together and they will feel proud that they've been part of the journey. The second option involves a small fee. This will enable your students to design and to decorate their own globe to feature as part of the world reimagined. Schools will be given training and support on how to best bring to life the themes that their pupils want to celebrate across their globe. Our school globes will be hosted in the local community. They will be celebrated online and in the end they will be returned to your school as legacy pieces. As a teacher I feel really, really passionate about the fact this programme is needed. Pupils have been asking the questions and the World Reimagine supplies many of the answers. Hopefully we do that in a way that supports teachers to feel confident and also supports pupils and students to soar in their knowledge and their learning and their understanding of a challenging subject matter. So if you'd like your school to take part, please just contact us via the website. And also, and just as importantly, if you're a teacher or an educationalist working in an informal setting with young people, be that through a youth club or a youth charity, we'd also love to have you join us through the World Reimagined. So contact us via the website because we'd like as many young people as possible to take part in this programme. Working together, we can create a more 
hopeful and more just future for all. We so hope that you join us. In order to reimagine something, you need to understand what it is first. I thought the world was equivalent to the earth, but when you check the definition, the world means all of human activity. It's not about the physical globe, but about the physical nature of humanity. I guess that's where I've been going wrong. I've been trying to reimagine the world on my own, but it doesn't belong to me. You're not an ink drop on this lonely narrator's tongue. If I close my eyes this time, will you promise to come with me? You see, a dream is like a cloud, it's deceptively heavy. The imagination is far too vast for one person to explore. So come with me, whilst I try to reimagine once more. To reimagine means to take a mental picture, to take something that exists and put it in a different context, like a Benin bronze in a British museum cabinet. See, I don't really want to make mistakes of the past. I want to make compost of inherited hate and circular debates frustrate my fears until they're surpassed. So I guess that's where the re bit comes in. Re means to go backwards and start again. For too long, we've been singing a song of denial and discomfort, tonsils thronging with the discordant sounds of a legacy gone wrong. We all make mistakes, but when you make a wrong turn, you can't keep driving straight, looking for change. So put me off. I won't be fueled by misguided pride and polished shame. I can no longer close my eyes when there's so much work to do. Put the nose back on the sphinx, Take the myth out of Timbuktu. I want to reach down the back of the sofa of this society and fish around for all that loose change. Like Aloda Equiano to slavery's abolition. Samuel Kojid Taylor to the classical music composition. Princess Sophia Dilip Singh to the suffragettes. You don't have to go far to see how easy it is to forget. No wonder my eyes don't want to invest in frivolous fiction when there's so much fact waiting for its recognition. I thought I could fix things by simply asking you to join me in the dark room of humanity, but photography, it's not a row of negatives waiting to be seen. It's about exposing what has already been. To reach the unknown, you have to retrieve, recall, rewild, reinstall, repurpose, repair, go back to the beginning, start again, but now do it with flair. The world reimagined is a lotus bud waiting to unfold. The world reimagined is bubble bath in the hands of a five year old. The world reimagined is our story untold. And telling it won't be easy. But that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We can turn fossils into plectrums, reject all that humdrum stuff fed to us without question. No suggestion that the truth is a spectrum. If you're the billing wall, I'll be the graffiti. If you're a scroll, I'll be the words of Rumi. Because there's no song outside of our vocal range. If I set my mind to it, my voice is louder than climate change. So take a step back. Use what's there. Make it new. Duchamp's masterpiece Fountain was an upgraded loo and it was actually discovered by a baroness called Elsa to be completely honest with you. Like a Rorschach image, we all start from the same place, then come out with different perspectives and where we've gone wrong in the past is our failure to respect this. The world we imagined is a gallery of things we were not sold. The world reimagined is a humble alchemist's gold. The world reimagined is our story untold. I want to create a world where everybody treats each other equally and looks after the environment. Hello, my name is Chelsea and I live in Birmingham, England. I want to create a world where people feel safe to express themselves and live freely and the experiences of global communities are preserved in balanced narratives. 
the world reimagined. Hello, my name is Zanara and I'm from Birmingham, England. I want to create a world where we are able to celebrate the beauty of each other's differences, to respect, tolerate and accept each other for who we are, to create a world where racial equality is a standard and empathy is a norm, where we are educated about black history, the world reimagined.